Heavy rains and tropical cyclone Dineo displaced thousands of people. It left a trail of destruction in its wake and created ideal breeding grounds for malaria-transmitting mosquitoes. Since January, more than 170,000 cases of malaria have been reported. That's compared to 108,000 over the same period last year. Healthcare officials say they've responded quickly to the emergency. We had our commodities in place, we had done our preventive uh, interventions on time uh, and we also had uh, buffer stock to respond to outbreaks like we did when we, we moved in to set some refugee camps that we set up, some temporary shelters that we also set up in areas where flooding had taken place. With the rainy season coming to an end, the worst is over. However, authorities remain vigilant. By and large, uh, I think we have less than 10 clinics out of 1,600 in the country that are still battling with outbreaks. We do have, of course, the, the, the usual challenges around, around cross-border areas. Uh, particularly in Mozambique for this year, it's always a thorny issue because we keep receiving refugees that are also coming from political instability in that country. And that is not always predictable in terms of numbers that will come. Southern Africa is projected to experience a prolonged rainfall season again next year. Now that's stoking fears of cross-border contagion, which would threaten regional efforts to completely eliminate the disease. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.